Saudi Arabia during Ramadan. I visited the most religiously Muslim country in the world during the holiest month on the Islamic calendar. How was it? Let me show you. I want to take you through my first 72 hours in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, the second biggest city in the country. What I saw completely changed my perspective of Saudi Arabia. Let's get into it. Alrighty, this is my first ever time walking down a street in Saudi Arabia. Um, and it's been the first time in a long time that I've had this just feeling of even the small things are just so interesting. There's just something so cool about seeing everyone just wearing different clothes you've just never really seen before. And all the signs are in different letters and everyone's been super friendly so far. Haven't eaten yet, desperately need a coffee. So <laughs> we'll see if I can get coffee, especially because and this is important that in two days Ramadan starts and they take Ramadan very seriously here. And Ramadan means no eating or drinking while the sun is up. So I've got two days to make the most of daytime Saudi food. So you can see behind me, they've got these really old, decrepit, but I think beautiful buildings. This is from the old town of Jeddah. And it's, it's a shame, I guess, because what's happening is, um, and I'll probably show footage of this, is that they're basically rebuilding them or restoring them. And I, I, I say it's a shame because you've got to be really careful when you restore buildings. I've been to places like Uzbekistan where they, they over restore. And I'm, I'm worried that a place like Saudi that is just trying to desperately pump tourism, it's going to just go overboard. So yeah, you can see behind me, they are doing some pretty hectic restorations on the old town. <laughs> It's uh, <laughs> definitely a construction site though. <laughs> we'll see if they let me uh, in or if I can not sneak in but confidently walk past. <laughs> what is your name? Uh, Rahmatullah. Rahmatullah. Really nice to meet Pakistan. you. Pakistan. Pakistan. Yes. Ah, it's awesome. Still your team. Cricket. Cricket. Ah. So that construction worker was really nice. Uh, friendly. He just politely told me that it was closed over there. Um, he said he's from Pakistan. He's the second Pakistani I've met and I've been here less than one day. So I guess this is potentially a, uh, you know, a before and after of the restoration going on. Just keeps going and going. Uh, this is really cool. And I feel completely safe. There's just no, there's no bad vibes. It's quiet, but that's not a bad thing. This is a video, actually. Oh. Uh, my new Saudi friend. Yeah. Feza. Feza? Uh, Turkey. Turkey. Okay. Okay. Really nice to meet you. And yeah, you, you speak really good English. Okay, thank you. Thank it's you. a beautiful place. Uh, what? Uh, very beautiful. Oh, 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 yeah. oh thank you. Jenna. Really oh. nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, those kids were so nice. Uh, one of them just walked up to me and was like, oh, where are you from? Um, and look, it is something that often happens all over the world, but I guess my bias has sort of made me think that wouldn't happen in Saudi, things would be serious here. But no, they were super friendly, just wanted to say good day, ask where I was from. Um, really nice. Oh man, it's actually not that hot in theory, like somewhere between, I don't know, 26, 30 degrees, but wearing long pants. Um, which is not something you have to do, but most people seem to wear long pants. It's just, oh, glad I found some shade. I think I'm gonna try and find some of those Arabic style, like linen pants. Alrighty, so I am now, at night time obviously, you can tell. I'm uh, gonna go check out the old town again at night time. Um, it was pretty empty during the day, which I did like. It was good to sort of soak in the, um, I guess the, the look of it rather than the atmosphere. But now I wanna, I wanna see a bit more life in the place. Um, it's 8.30 and yeah, this is, the second last night before Ramadan, so it'll be interesting to see if there is much of a difference when Ramadan starts. Um, the whole fasting thing is going to be rough. So I found myself in a market which is cool. Um, it's way more alive here now. There's so much going on. There is much more going on here now. It is a full house. And I can smell something really good. So I'm gonna see if I can find out where it is. 
Oh no, Bye. it's a video! Whoa. These are my new Syrian best friends. Yes. Syrian best friends. Best friends. Bye. See you guys. Bye. I can't move. It is a video, so I need to warn you. Yeah, it's okay. It's always a video. What was your name, sorry? Abdullah. Abdul? Abdul. My brother Bas. Bas. Really nice to meet you guys. And you, you bought me this delicious. It doesn't look very good on the video, but what was it called? Bas? Balila. Balila. It's like chickpeas and it, I think it's like vinegar and spices. That's really good. Yeah, you're gonna have to try it. Really nice to meet. And, and these, these guys used to live in Australia, so they yeah. Yeah, we did live in Australia. Always nice to meet another Aussie, <laughs> but grew up in Saudi. So yeah, cheers, guys. Cheers. And I just want to take a video because it again it looks terrible, but like it tastes delicious. Look, shall I? Basically, the But I mean, I'd rather it tastes better than it looks the other way around. Yeah. It's spicy and vinegary, and, <laughs> and no chickpeas. And, mm. <laughs> Hello. How are you? <laughs> nice Hi, to meet you. <laughs> Salam alaikum. How are you? Very good. What are, we doing? what are we doing now, brother? We're gonna eat something good. I do, I, I do hope you're not capitalizing. Yeah, I do know. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope you didn't say anything rude. Oh, no, 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 it's alright. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, good. what about you? All these people that speak really good English. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very nice Normal to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brother? Akhi? Akhi, yes. Akhi. 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 Yeah, All of his Akhis. Thank you, my brother. Akhi. Akhi. Shukran Akhi. Akhwan. Akhwan? Akhwan is English. Akhwan is English. You're welcome. Ah, Shukran. Akhwan. Nice to meet you guys. Uh, the polite face. You can call her just a, like I said, sister. So I'm eating a Palestinian sandwich? Yes. I'll have it without the sauce first. Sacha. My Arabic is not very good. Uh, mm, oh. Why is everything so delicious here? <laughs> mm. It's like cheesy mm. and onion. Meat. Everything here is really delicious. It's unbelievably, checkout is at 2 p.m. I think life really is in the night. Um, so it's 2 p.m. now and I'm going to my next one, which checks in at 4 p.m. Um, and I woke up at 12, so I'm getting used to Ramadan late sleeping time, which Ramadan begins tomorrow. made it to this different area of town this is near the water and I'll show you later it's I think it's the biggest fountain in the world it's it's one of the biggest fountains in the world but um much newer area we'll see if I like it initial thoughts driving in it doesn't have the feeling of the old town with my new friend I feel like Bob is a good name Bob cat most of them are afraid to be honest but this guy he's a hotel cat he's got that sweet life so yes, Ramadan begins officially tonight, but in effect tomorrow, which means a lot of fasting, about a month um, during the daytime, no eating or drinking of any kind for uh, Muslims. I mean, the biggest thing is there's gonna be no restaurants open, so I'm gonna convert to this evening lifestyle. So we'll see how that goes. I can understand it's a way for people to experience what it's like for those who don't have food and are starving and thirsty. So I guess to help them, um, help them relate to poor people and hopefully be more generous. After my long walk, I've ordered some delicious looking food. Um, let's see if I can get the, the camera down. So, what we've got here is a shashuka, which is an egg dish with spices. We've got a tamiz, which is a traditional Saudi flat bread. And a chai, it's called a karak. Um, I think it looks like it's a chai. Um, spiced tea, kind of like India. Mm, that's really nice. It's really hot, but uh, the air conditioning here is really strong, so that kind of works out well. Alrighty, so this is uh, Basbusa. I'm definitely butchering the pronunciation. Uh, it's like a sweet cake. Um, I think it's Egyptian originally, um, but we are actually incredibly close to Egypt. So, you know, I think it still counts as authentic. Uh, yeah, let's dig into it. Nice and smooth. What I expected. I was expecting kind of crispier, but this is, this is good. 
Hi. Are we best friends? Or is this like a one-way friend? No, I think I think it's I think it's a dual. I think it's a best friend situation. I let all my best friends sit on my <laughs> Can't go in because it's Ramadan and during the day food's closed. There's a Tim Hortons here, which is like a Canadian, like clearly Canadian uh, coffee shop. Yes, it's the first day of Ramadan, and even though I don't have to fast, um, no, I'm Christian, but I'm not Christian. But that's what you say here. That's actually a good thing to bring up. I've been told that a lot of these Middle Eastern countries, you don't tell them that you don't have any faith. That's kind of considered blasphemous and people will get a little bit kind of defensive and on edge. I, this is what I was told when I visited Iran as well. Um, so you just sort of go with the Christian line. Anyway, so because it's Ramadan, um, all the restaurants are closed until, I guess, the sun goes down. It's fasting during the day. Um, and again, I don't have to do this, but I decided to give it a go. Now I'm drinking water, I, I just, I'm not gonna risk the whole getting a headache thing. Um, but I'm getting hungry, it's three o'clock. I slept in till 11, so that makes it a bit easier. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect, shukran. Looks delicious. I am in my last night in Jeddah trying to, uh, I guess, experiencing a, experience a Ramadan activity. So the sun is almost setting. Um, I'm going to go to a mosque and see what happens over here. Uh, essentially, every time the sun sets, the fasting can end and you can have an iftar, which I believe is the first meal after the fasting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to participate. Uh, we'll just watch and have a chat with people, but I'm keen to check it out. Alrighty, so we made it to the Corniche. So over here essentially is the Red Sea. It's a little bay, so that's obviously a little, it's connected to the mainland, but if you keep following out that way, um, you get into the Red Sea and you pretty much hit Sudan and Egypt. So we're about 200 kilometers from there. Don't know if you can quite make out the fountain up there. That is the biggest fountain in the world. Um, I do want to get close to it, but I want to be near this mosque. Um, I think something's going to happen there when the sun officially sets. But I don't see many people. But I was told to uh, told by someone from Cast Surfing to uh, check it out. behind me are people breaking their fast for the first time today because the sun has set and the prayers went off earlier and what's also cool is there's a lot of cats going around they're kind of like rats in the city uh, and they're all hanging around trying to get some scraps <laughs> they're cute but they are a pain but yeah it's a really good vibe down here hello hey buddy what's your name sir Muhammad. 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 And how many how many years do you think I am? Eighteen. Eighteen. I'm an eighteen year old man. Look at that. <laughs> this is what you call being good. Shukran. Samosa. Try it. Try it. That's a samosa. Beautiful mosque in the background. <laughs> oh shoot. How are you going, guys? We're good. Ready? My new Filipino Saudi friend. <laughs> this one is a cheeky guy. Very chatty. Don't listen to anything he says. <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> Why? Say hi. Um, and hopefully I see you guys again in Jeddah. Here. Thanks yeah. for the, the Jeddah. Have a good Jeddah. Travel. Jeddah. Good Isn't that how Jeddah. you say Jeddah? How do you say Jeddah? Jeddah. Jeddah. Yeah. Yes. Jeddah. 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 Jeddah in front of me so I know that it's there we'll see if I can get a good view of the largest fountain in the world um, and then I might check out the old town before going to Medina tomorrow so with terrible lighting you can definitely not see my face but you can see the biggest fountain in the world um, Saudi seems to have a lot of the biggest or almost biggest things in the world uh, it had for about 10-15 years the largest flagpole in the world um, and it's trying to build the biggest building in the world one kilometer tall actually in this town and so is the flagpole so Jeddah 
seems to be the place of tall or almost tall things. <laughs> Picked up some camel milk <laughs> in this surprisingly modern looking place. And the call to prayer has started. So, if this isn't the most saddy thing ever, it's feeling pretty saddy to me. Alrighty, so I've got my cardamom flavored camel milk. A <laughs> um, little bit scared to try it, but the cardamom, how bad could it be? It's actually really good. You can almost forget that there's a giant camel on it and this came from Camel Teach. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna have some more. The cardamom really makes it good. There's also a lavender flavor and a fresh flavor. Funnily enough, I didn't want to go fresh camel milk flavor. So, cardamom, camel milk. Not bad. I think I found a talking cat. I think. Every time I talk. Meow. You camera shy? Hey? How are you? How are you? I've been traveling for over a year. I'm currently in Jordan and I'm making my way on towards Iraq and Syria soon. Subscribe to make sure to see all these adventures. Thanks.